Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to uh, test one of these, which is a, a double filament, uh, double contact bulb. Uh, I've done a previous video and it was mentioned that I didn't cover these ones, so, so I'm going to do this one now. So these bulbs are only used in the back of a car. They are used for your side lights when you turn your headlights on. The smaller one of these two filaments, which will be five watts, will uh, illuminate a red light to the back. And then when you brake, there's a, a switch on your brake pedal. And when you press the brake pedal, you complete the circuit and then it will illuminate this 21 watt filament here as well both are on 12 volts and both share the same common earth so the common earth is here this will be earth to the body locally and then it will go back up to the battery the two contacts on the back here they're the two lives so these are the two ways that the circuit becomes energized but they share a common earth so first thing you're going to need is your multimeter um, you're going to need to set it to the ohm scale down here and i'm going to put it on the lowest setting I'm not expecting more than sort of two or three ohms resistance in a little bulb. There is no hard and fast rule, but you're not looking to get any more resistance than one ohm per meter of wire. Obviously, that's going to depend on the thickness of the wire. The thicker the wire it is, the easier it is for the current to flow through it. And obviously, with this particular multimeter, there's only a com for common earth, and there's this one here, which is volts, ohms, and milliamps. So we're going to go for ohms for continuity. So as I say, there's a common earth on these bulbs. So the common earth goes onto the body because it goes into this casing and then down the chassis, as I say. So that's your earth. And then I'm going to test these two pins here to see if each filament is still intact. At the moment on the multimeter, it shows one, which just means open circuit. It means there is no complete circuit. Good thing to do before you start is to always put your leads together, make sure it's calibrated, make sure it's functioning. So that's fine. So it's showing that if I put these leads together, the battery in the multimeter through the two leads 0.3 of an ohm. So here we go with the actual bulb. So put your earth on there and then I'm going to put my lead on one of them. And I'm getting 0.9 of an ohm and then I'm going to put my lead on the other and I'm going to go 2.9. So again the thicker the wire the easier it is. So the 0.9 one's going to be my 21 watt uh, circuit for my brake light. And the 2.9 has higher resistance, so that's going to be my 5 watt circuit, so that's going to be my side light. So that's a quick, easy way to uh, check that your bulbs are uh, working on both circuits. Do check your uh, contacts here as well, because sometimes they do bend and they lose connection, or there's a bit of rust or corrosion in some cars that's because of where they live. So it's always worth checking your points and your contacts and make sure there's no rust, because that will increase resistance. And obviously that may stop it working as well. I hope this helps. See you next time.